How do you make a man respect you? How do you make a man respect you? So many women wonder why their men don't respect them. And they also wonder why they are with somebody courting the person or even after marriage, the man does not respect them. Well, one of the reasons, one of the solutions to that is the way you behave. The way you behave matters a lot. You'd either be respected or be disrespected due to your attitude because of the way you behave, the way you talk, some of the choices that you make. And this is Princess on our channel. We talk about how to court efficiently, how to marry in the Lord, how to know the will of God in marriage, and how to find the right partner for your future. We encourage Christians on how to relate to one another the Christian way in order to achieve a Christian godly home. We are on uh, Facebook, we are on Instagram as DLBC Singles. Do well to follow us and we are also on Facebook as Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. We have a lot of discussions there. You don't want to miss it. Do well to join us on the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. Today we're talking about how do you make a man respect you? How do you make a man respect you? So many women wonder why their men don't respect them. And they also wonder why they are with somebody courting the person or even after marriage, the man does not respect them. Well, one of the reasons, one of the solutions to that is the way you behave. The way you behave matters a lot. You'd either be respected or be disrespected due to your attitude because of the way you behave, the way you talk, some of the choices that you make. I'm going to be looking at my notes. First of all, number one, you need to be the last to speak. Don't be quick to always talk. Don't think that you always have to have something to say. Sometimes silence is golden. Many times actually, silence is golden. There is a time to talk and there is a time to just keep quiet. Secondly, number two, be honest. Some people, some ladies are not honest. They're not honest at all. Because they will say something that they don't mean. If you are one who would say something that you do not mean, then your word becomes very light. It does not matter anymore what you say. He will not respect what you say. Your opinion will not matter to him and he will never take you serious. But when you are honest, your word is your bond. Whatever you say is what you do. Naturally, your man, your husband, your fiance will definitely respect you. Say only what you mean all the time. Thirdly, try to see the good in everything and in everyone. No matter how bad a situation is, try to find the good in it. Don't be so pessimistic. Don't be so negative. Just have faith. Believe. Find the positive. Be encouraging. Always look out for the positive thing in every situation that you find yourself in. Four, you need to be able to laugh at yourself. <laughs> laugh at yourself sometimes. You know when you have something that you're not proud of, and you are the first to bring it forward. You bring it forward to people and you let them know, hey, you have this and, you know, it's funny that I always do this. It's funny that I'm short and I need to wear high heels to, to meet up with the height of every other person. <laughs> and everybody laughs about it before you know it. People will not even notice that you are short anymore. It wouldn't matter anymore because you've laughed about it. Another point is that you need to give respect to other people. Respect is reciprocal. The way you treat people is the way you will be treated. And that's why we have the golden rule in the Bible. In Matthew chapter 7, from a 7, I believe if I'm, I think my reference is correct, I'll look at that and confirm in the, in the description section. It says, do unto others as you want them to do to you. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And we're told in the children church that that is the golden rule. If you respect people and treat them the way you want to be treated, naturally, they will respect you. They will fall in line. 
So do well to not forget those points. Number six, be open to change. Don't be someone who is always boxed up in your own ideas, your own concept, your own ideologies, and every other people's statements and opinions don't matter. You can always learn from people. People can teach you things. Be the least person sometimes around you has some nuggets to add to your life, to spice up your life, to make you better, to make you see things, opportunities that are right there at your feet and you do not see them. Those people in your life would be a source of encouragement. They could also stand as people, catalysts, catalysts to your progress in life. Okay? So don't always think that your word is the last, your word is the best. What you have to say is always the, the ultimate and the final word that everyone should take including your partner sometimes just agree when you're wrong admit it that you're wrong take correction work on yourself to bring forth change in your life okay last i think as the last point help others when they need help help others when they need help when people need help help them and don't be ashamed to ask for help Okay? Don't be shy. Don't stop yourself. Don't refuse to ask for help. Responsible people, respectful people know when they need help. They admit that, oh, I need help here. Humility requires that you realize that you cannot be a superman, you cannot be a superwoman, and you can get help. And there is nothing undignifying about it. Accept, help, render help and let your actions speak louder than your words. Do what you say, okay? Your actions is what people will watch. People will, will talk about you due to how you behave. Your actions will portray a lot about you. Don't forget that actions speak louder than words. You don't need to struggle to be respected. Respect will come when you do these things and you pay attention to this, you fix your life, you arrange your life and you live your life, the best of your life. Just enjoy yourself, be yourself. And trust me, you don't have to struggle to be respected, it'll come. If you have been blessed by this video, do well to subscribe, share this video and tell your friends about it. So many people are wondering about these topics that we're bringing to these channels discussion we will be happy to hear your comments we want to hear your comments in the comment section below and notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever we share new videos always happy to see you and i hope to see you at another time for new subscribers you're very welcome we're happy that you're part of us and do well to be part of the family for our old subscribers you are always welcome and we are always delighted to hear your comments, to see you in this corner in, in the Deepala Babichos singles. Thank you and goodbye.